So I am Professor Prabhat Ranjan, Vice Chancellor of D.Y. Patil International University, Akordi in Pune. I am a futurist and I was involved with preparing India's Technology Vision 2035 when I was heading TIFAC in Delhi from 2013 to 2018. So when I joined as Founder Vice Chancellor of D.Y. Patil International University last year, our focus has been to create a campus which is future ready. So from the day one in the university, we are emphasizing on making sure that students are future proof. This year, we are starting our engineering program. And as part of this, we are starting a BTEC program in computer science and engineering. This is a very unique program that we have created, which is a multi-track specialization system where students study first two years, they will be studying not only computer science, but communication, electronics, because today everything has converged together into one discipline. We cannot segregate them out. And from third year onwards, they start to pick up their own specialization through a track that they choose. The 10 tracks that we have defined, and these are all tracks which are going to be very important, not only today, but in coming decades. For example, the first track is artificial intelligence and machine learning. All of us are well known about the impact of artificial intelligence that it is having on our life. Second one is data science. Third one is robotics and AI. In this particular case, we're not dealing with robotics and AI separately, but how robotics and AI are interfacing together and creating new situations which are unseen so far. Then we have an area where we are covering intelligent transport system and logistics. We are all aware of driverless vehicles. We are all aware of kind of warehouses that Amazon is running, which is mostly run by automated systems. In this particular program, we are also offering a five-year integrated MBA degree in logistics and uh, transport. This is important because our students will get both not only the technology aspect, but also management aspect together in the same field. So they will be much better prepared for the field. The next one is Internet of Things. All of us are aware of the fact that there are trillions of sensors that are going to be deployed, uh, which will be collecting data from all over the place. So this is the important area of Internet of Things. Then we have cybersecurity. As we grow in automation, everything is hackable, including even systems which are implanted in our body. So cyber security is going to be important for everything. Then we're starting probably a unique program in financial technology, which will cover blockchain and other technologies that are coming in. This program will also have an integrated MBA in financial management. So again, we'll be covering both the technology aspect and the management aspect. Then we have created a new program in bioinformatics. And here the students will get the degree in computer science engineering with a track in bioinformatics because I understand that informatics part of this is very important. And the students must have a strong foundation in computer science and engineering to be able to contribute to bioinformatics effectively. The demand for these students is in worldwide is very high. Then considering the fact that so much of IT infrastructure being created across the country, we also created a track in cloud and systems administration along with data science center management. These centers are becoming very important for handling all the things that we see at the back, back end as server. And we are considerably to short supply of professionals in this. I've seen very good response from industry in this particular program. The last track that we have is in web and mobile application. This will cover not only current web 2.0, but web 3.0, as well as 5G, 5G technology that has come in. And in this particular program, we are also providing an option of integrated masters in design, which will cover augmented reality, virtual reality, holography, and games design. Today, each one of these areas has become very important. According to a UN study, games design is going to be very important for India, and India is likely to become a games design hub for the whole world in the next two to three years. Similarly, most of the content that we are seeing today in terms of textbook and so on is going to be converted to augmented reality, virtual reality, and holographic systems will be used in many places.